What is up guys, it's Soulbash. We are back playing Clash Royale. Now, of course, this is another Tank Your Rank episode and I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if we can't get anything out of these chests. I do have, okay, we have a Goblin Hood to come out of that. Crown chest, I only need one more for it. Go ahead and open this. And I wanna explain to you why I'm doing this again. Uh, basically, what it is, is the arenas, okay? You can only get certain cards from certain arenas. So if I stay out of certain arenas, I have less, that much less of a chance of ruining my chances of getting the cards that I want. Now, I did pick up another one, uh, which is the Baby Dragon. I picked it up from the cards, which appear different every 24 hours. And since I had plenty of gold, you don't have to spend it to do matches anymore. I actually just went ahead and picked it up so that's one less that I actually have to get now so let's see let's go ahead and jump in I did drop my rank down to uh, 199 as you can see I tanked all the way down to 199 trophies uh, as you can see the wins 55 wins out of those wins 45 of them have been three crowns so I play very aggressively and basically just go for the three crown pretty early and I actually should have probably opened one of those chests up before I started this, but I'll do it right after. So, we're using the same deck as we did last time. I actually probably should have changed it up. Uh, but let's start out. Let's see, they're gonna go that side. So, let's do a heavy push on the left side and let's just go ahead and go for the three crown. I did this earlier, just messing around, starting out with the three crown, and I three crowned somebody in like, 30 or 40 seconds it was really fast with this tactic because I mean once you get going I mean I don't care about that tower down there they might get it before it's dead they're not that's it three crown within what 45 seconds so at this level as you can tell this is why I'm doing this you see how powerful these cards are at at this level so if I keep doing this as long as I continue doing this throughout the game as I go up and progress I should not have any problems defeating anybody that I come across in the game unless they've spent a ton of money okay so we didn't get anything good mini P.E.K.K.A. which we've already had uh, let's go ahead and start the timer for this one and we have another crown chest that we can go for but I want to change my deck up a little bit uh, let's use baby dragon and we will swap out Let's see, let's get rid of the two epics that I use the most on those push, which are the Prince and the Balloon. So we're going to get rid of that one. And to bring in with Baby Dragon, I'm going to try using the Giant with him. Basically what I'm going to try to do is get the Giant out front to take the damage. Baby Dragon in behind that, it's only going to cost four. And right after that, I should have enough Elixir to dr drop the Spirit Goblins out right behind it. So let's jump in and let's see if we can't get something going. All right, level three, we're at 229. And let's hit him with a good luck. Thumbs up. All right, and nothing really good starting out. So we're going to drop spear goblins in the back. Okay, here we go. We have dragon, uh, not dragon. That's who I'm hoping to get is dragon. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. This person went pretty aggressive as well to begin with, so I'm gonna have to counter what they're pushing. And Baby Dragon is back here, so let's drop skeletons, get rid of this. And that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm gonna flood these guys in. And let's go ahead and push with a Baby Dragon. Hopefully they should take out those archers before it does any damage, and it did. All right, we got a decent push going. Gonna drop some more of these in. Ah. Oh. Caught me with the arrows. My arrows are dirty. Okay, so this is not quite as tanky as the last push, or it's not as fast as the last deck that I was using. So we're gonna save up, and let's go ahead and push for the three crown. Uh, gonna push out with a giant to begin with. And let's start them back a little bit. That way I can get some elixir up, and we will drop. Oh, he is just going dirty straight blocking everything I'm trying to throw at him all right so we're gonna have to wait till giant comes down a little bit skeleton army on it shouldn't be any problem this is probably the longest game that I've played so far and here we go get all this stuff out of the way 
let these th let these guys come down and we'll drop a baby dragon up top and see how it fares against uh everything by itself valkyrie should take out quite a bit of this yes it did all right so here comes the baby dragon with the arrows behind it from the spear goblins and we're going to see how they react to this of course he had another prince right back to back Jeez. okay the baby dragon is going to follow prince no he's not luckily like that splash damage this is the first time i've actually ever played with baby dragons so this is very interesting i wish he would have actually took that tower so i could have had a chance at three crowning and i'm sitting there with full elixir that's that's not very smart and let's go ahead and get as much as we can in here get a valkyrie get some stuff with some a little bit of tanky hp in here and here's a baby dragon top it off okay we got four on their side throw some spear goblins in there with it let's get a little crazy with it uh skeleton army give him more targets to hit and we're down to 15 17 okay that needs okay good 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 he got that one crown because i actually just i want a three crowning just 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 for the fact of i like three crowning those three crowns sudden death and finished all right that's awesome three crowns that gave us three straight into the crown chest and he hit me with a oops right there at the end and we got that open Let's see is there anything we want to change about this um it seemed to fare okay uh that guy actually kind of knew what he was doing a little bit to be such a lower level uh let's get into another one and let's see if we can't go ahead and finish off this crown chest real quick this is another level three and we've got giant to start out with he's coming in strong with the mini pekka gonna arrow these guys counter this guy and we're just gonna start with our push okay here comes giant first with a baby dragon bringing up the rear he's got a bomber and some archers coming I'm not too too worried about those i'm gonna see how he reacts to this all right here we go gonna throw some spear goblins in behind that to get some damage out those guys want if they can stay up they can do moderate amount of damage at this level uh, as you get up on further they can actually do a lot more if you keep stuff in front of them and they're gonna take that down as soon as it drops we're gonna throw a musketeer in there and baby dragon looks like he took the damage on that that's gonna give the giant a chance to get in there get some hits in okay he got one hit in all right let's go ahead and take this guy out oh he dropped a bomber right there behind me okay we still took him down right there he's got a mini pekka out not gonna worry about these guys too much arrows should take care of them mini pekka uh valkyrie should take care of him all right good the valkyrie took the damage before he did make it bomber is in range of the tower so we're looking good we got a minute and 30 seconds left to take this last 1341 health from him and we're gonna do it right now come on baby dragon we need four elixir for him valkyrie got in one hit and if the giant doesn't get it that baby dragon should finish it off right there not a bad deck a um, little bit of tweaking with it just to get some other cards out but it could be pretty fun to play with uh, two three crowns in a row 30 trophies and it takes so long to tank these decks guys if you, if you don't know uh you of course you win 30 trophies when you win a match at this range but when it comes down to it you only lose at maximum around 10 so it's 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 tough to get them down that low especially in the uh like 400 range you got level five and level six people that are trying to tank uh their accounts just like this and you just get to a point where you can't go down anymore uh I believe uh chase from uh i chase you can check him out he tried that with a level nine account and he can only get down to like the 400 range on it and he didn't fare very well because of that you know people were just sitting there they wouldn't do any damage so you just basically sit there for four minutes wasting your time and it gets quite frustrating uh for me honestly i don't really care because i mean i'm just sitting there with it laying down anyway while playing another game so it doesn't really bother me to tank them and just let them go 
And we're going to go ahead and finish this guy off. It went pretty quick. Clash of Pepe. And here we go, Baby Dragon. Oh, look at the little zap he tried. He tried so hard to take that tower out. But this Baby Dragon and this giant, this should finish it off. These combos are really fun to play around with. Um, I think another tough one to counter at this level would probably be a dragon, a baby dragon and a balloon because they're two air combatant uh, cards and there's not really a whole lot to counter that stuff with at this level. Um, so let's do something a little crazy. We're going to skeleton army and let's throw a Valkyrie in there to hide them. And some spear goblins in the back. That should let them get close enough to the tower that it should be able to take them out. Yep, and it does. Another three crown, three in a row. And we don't need but one more crown to open this last crown chest. Hit him with a good game. And he's furious. All right, we need one more. Gonna leave the deck the same. Doing pretty well. Um, if you got any recommendations on decks, um, like we could do an all commons deck. Uh, just, if you have any, I'll, sh I'll show you my cards here in just a minute after this one. And uh, if you guys want to pick out a deck for me to try to make a run with, I will do that in the next episode. And let's see what we can get going here. He's got a musketeer running on this side. Skeleton army should take her out. No problem. Okay. And he's got a goblin hut. So this baby dragon is doing work on this thing up here. Baby dragon has quite a bit of hit points, especially for those little guys. And... I'm not going to really pose much of a threat. They're going to do a little bit of damage. But my main concern right now is I got to take that thing out for the, either the giant or anything to want to be able to go to that. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some goblins over here to help that out. Okay, here's a giant. We can go ahead and start working on taking this tower out or this goblin hut. It can get quite annoying. And oh, he's got a little heads up. He's got one on me. Okay, but check this out. We got a baby dragon coming in right behind you. We got three push, giant baby dragon, and a musketeer. And let's throw a little bit more in the chaos. Uh, let's throw a knight. Knight's got pretty high HP. If we can get that, ah, uh, I was hoping that would target him. He did. Okay, that leaves the giant up. We're still doing moderate damage, and that's going to finish it off. Musketeer, yes. All right, four three crowns in a row. Level two deck that is tanked. I'm not leaving out of Arena 3 until we get these two other epics, guys. We only have two left. Hopefully, we can get one right in the crown chest. Come on, guys. Gems, arrows, knight, goblins. Here's the last one. Can we get something we don't have? Nope. Got a fireball. All right. And here's my cards, guys. If you want to pick some cards out for me to try at this level to see how it fares against some of these guys. Now, I'm not going to level any of them up because if it does, it'll put us up to three. I mean, I could go up to level three. The only thing that will change is my tower, the hit points and stuff it has. It won't really affect the cards or the chance of me getting cards. But it's fun to be level two and just wreck these people like this. Um, so if you have any recommendations on a deck you want to see me use at this level, let me know in the comments below. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave me a big fat like on it. Like I said, if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.